Upper Serangoon to tour a three-room HDB that has been designed around the homeowner's lifestyle and passions. As they often host pottery sessions in their home, we'll be able to see how they manage to reconfigure their old 1970s layout to accommodate a large group of people within their space. So just a quick background about this home, this three-room HDB is 786 square feet in size and it currently features one bedroom, one bath and a very sizable kitchen. Together with their interior designers Inside Out Studio, the homeowners have completely overhauled this place and transformed it into what you see here today. But as always, we're going to be starting off at the entrance. So as you enter through this blush coloured front door, it immediately opens up to reveal the entire space. There's no dedicated entryway per se, but what immediately greets me would be this dining area. And as most of the pottery classes are being held here, the homeowners have opted for a 2.2 meter dining table, which now comfortably fits 8 but can also accommodate up to 10 people when need be. So I do like the warm and rustic look that this table brings to the entire home and for those of you who are curious, this is actually made out of jati or more commonly known as Indonesian teak wood. So one more interesting detail to highlight over here would be the windows. These were previously casement windows but have been replaced with bide folds allowing them to completely slide open. The same was done for the windows on the other far end of the home and this not only allows for a good amount of natural light to flow in but also for cross ventilation within this space. And when it comes to flooring, the entire house except for the bathrooms and the bedrooms are finished in a micro cement. This ensures a continuous visual flow throughout all the common areas and also provides a comfortable surface for their two adopted pet dogs to safely run around. One of the major reconfigurations made to this home is the removal of the common bedroom to make way for this living room. So this space is wide enough to fit an L-shaped three-seater sofa along with the homeowner's indoor plant collection and a bookshelf on the other end. You might also have noticed that the walls are finished in a terracotta tone and this has been intentionally not painted all the way up to the ceiling just to help to softly demarcate the space and also help to make this living room feel a little more intimate. Before we go on, let me just share with you about an exciting new launch in Lentor Hills, Lentoria. Inspired by private park homes, Lentoria is landscaped with flora gardens and water features that blur the boundary of home and nature. You can rest and play however you like with curated facilities such as the 50 meter lap pool, forest fitness, garden lounge, sky terrace and more. Lentoria has a total of 267 premium units ranging from 1 to 4 bedroom and all of them are designed for flexible living in mind. The walls in the units are easily transformable, allowing you to easily customise your space to fit your needs and lifestyle. Apart from a short stroll to the nearby malls, you'll also get sheltered access to both the bus stop and Lento MRT station. And for families with little ones, Lentoria is located within a 1km to renowned primary schools. So if you'd like to learn more about Lentoria, you can visit this showroom or click on the link in the description box below. Alright, now let's head back to our tour. Moving on, here we have the master bedroom, but I'm going to be touching on the kitchen first. So this is a very large L-shaped open kitchen with this section serving as the bar counter. It currently houses a coffee machine and two seats, which makes it the perfect place for breakfast or just to grab quick meals. All the cabinetry in the kitchen is finished in plywood and this is paired nicely with the terracotta backsplash. So the combination of these two materials really help to give it a raw yet warm feeling to this corner of the home. Moving further in, we do have the service yard and this is seamlessly integrated with the kitchen, you will see that the cabinetry and backsplash extends into this area as well, creating a continuous design language. Primary features for laundry can be found here and there's even a separate utility sink for general purposes. But what I do want to point out is that this service yard also acts as a dedicated pottery space. You do find a potter's wheel right in the middle over here along with a built-in cabinet to neatly store away the supplies and equipment. The homeowners do hold community play experiences to help raise funds for animal rescue and rehab. So if that's something that you're interested in, we're going to leave a link down in the description below. You'll also be able to find the bathroom in the kitchen and this is typical to older HDB flats but the bathroom is separated into two. So here we have the toilet and on the other side would be your shower. They are finished in a similar fashion with got white vertical tiles that line the entire wall and floor. Very very simple application but it does help to make the space feel bright and airy. And finally, the master bedroom. So this bedroom is comfortably sized, there is a queen size bed that is cosily tucked away in a corner freeing up additional space for this white three section open wardrobe as well as a study table at the far end. And if you notice, unlike in the common areas, parquet flooring is being used over here and that helps to add a nice touch of warmth and comfort for a room meant for rest.
Thanks for joining us today. As always, more information about this home here. So if you do like the interior of this home and you're on the lookout for a designer, you can reach out to them via the link in our description box below and stand to receive a $500 sex store voucher. So you know the drill, like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.